We're here with Paul Hitchens. So I heard you caught a lot of fish with Rachel and Drew. Yeah, they even had a fishing contest out there. <laughs> so what are we going to do with them? Okay, we're going to uh, go through what we've collected this afternoon. We're going to release the non-susceptible species that we've caught. Uh, some of the bigger susceptible species that are the VHS susceptible species are going to be tagged and released and uh, see if those would be picked up uh, later on in the inland rivers. And uh, the ones that uh, we're going to send in to be tested, we're going to euthanize them with uh, MS-222 and uh, actually kill them. And we will be bagging those and some of them we're going to necropsy so you guys get to get your hands bloody. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. Okay, we got another rock bass here that we're going to tag. Uh, why don't you hold it up against the edge there for me so we can get an accurate measurement on it. All right, it looks like it's 230 millimeters. And how about we put a tag in it? Now you saw right there. Push put it in, in, push it in. Yep, Hit, pull the trigger, twist, twist it, and pull, pull out. out. Yep, and then just double check by pulling on it. Looks like it's locked in there yeah. pretty good. Why don't you take the uh, scissors right there and take a fin clip right at the base. Okay, would you like to release it? Yeah, let's go. Okay. All right, we're going to do another one here. It's another rock bass. Ah, why don't you go ahead and hold it up against there again. Paul, this one looks like it's 210 millimeters. Okay, is that uh, 528? Ah, uh, yes. Twist it. Go ahead and double check it by pulling on it. There you go. And go ahead and clip the fin again. And you'll notice the phone number is on the tag. Yep. Where if someone catches that or uh, the uh, IDNR or the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, they will call that number and uh, let us know where they collected that fish and uh, give us all the data we're needing off of it. Yep. Oh, that's good. Why don't you release it for us again? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do another one. Okay, well, what fish do we have here? Oh. oh. <laughs> um, is that a bass? Yep, it's a rock bass, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they all want to get out. Okay, so let's do another one here, Paul. We got a rock bass. Got it. Why don't you hold it up against there for us? Looks like 180 millimeters. Okay. Go ahead and put the tag in again. Nice. Oh, jeez. Yep, just like that. Pull it, twist it, pull it out. Double check it's anchored in there good through the these yep. lines. Looks like it's good to go. Good. Let's get another fin clip on there. Perfect. How about you release it for us again? Are you ready to go back in the wild? <laughs> He's ready. Okay guys, now it's time to euthanize a few fish that we have to do necropsies on. So uh, Katie's got that job. And uh, you're just going to pour a little bit of that uh, MS-222 in the water. How much? Oh, about uh, five milliliters worth. It just kind of, you can eyeball it. Just pour it in there. A little bit more. Um, a little bit more. That'd be good enough. All right, Paul, it looks like we're ready for the necropsy. So why do we have to do this? Okay, we've got some bigger fish that won't fit in the packaging to be UPS overnight air freighted. So we're going to extract the spleen, the kidney and the heart and just send the organs in. And those are the target organs for VHS testing. They'll be sent to the diagnostic laboratory in uh, Maine, and they will test for the BH virus. So let's get started. All right. We're going to cut a little window out of the fish. We're going to go up to the lateral line. We're going to go across the stomach through the isthmus of the gills. I'm going to go up to the lateral line on this side and take out the belly meat. And you can see on this fish, he does have eggs. And with his head to the left and his belly towards us, you can see the spleen right there. Okay, now now we can see the spleen with his head facing to the left, and that's that dark red organ right there. These are the eggs on a female. We're gonna take a small piece of that spleen and put it in the buffer media to send it to the lab. Now, we're gonna go for the kidneys, and they are up against the body cavity on the other side of the swim bladder, and you can see a little bit of the shiny surface up here, which is the kidneys. So we're just going to take a small piece of that, and let me get the fish around this way. So I broke the kidney loose, and I'm taking a small piece to 
be sent in. Now the only thing we're lacking is the heart, which is up here, and you can see the aorta. And there's the heart. We're going to grab a small piece of that, and we're going to send that also to the lab. So how important is it to do all of this? Uh, it's very important because uh, VHS uh, is usually found in the larger fish. So we do want to send in a, a, a sample of the population that are larger fish. So uh, that's why we're actually doing the necropsy, so we can get a variation of small, medium, and large fish in the sample and get a random sample of the entire population in each watershed.